Chris here. I uh, hope everybody out there in Lockland's doing good on this Sunday morning, on this stock lock Sunday morning. Um, doing good here. Hot, hot, hot again. It's just supposed to get hotter and hotter as the week progresses too. So, not really looking forward to that because it's hot enough here as it is already. So, um, yeah. So for today, we are here for butchers. 156 giveaway um, he's doing a 156 sub giveaway but he's already at 182 subs so um, yeah go check out his channel he's a great guy great picker he's got some really cool locks a really cool lock lab <laughs> the whole nine yards so yeah go check him out I'll uh, leave a link in the description and uh, yeah, go show him some love. Get him up to that 200. What the heck? He deserves it. So go over to his channel and show him some love, man. Um, all right. So without further ado, Butcher uh, wants us to pick a lock that's our favorite lock. But I have so many locks that are my favorites. I couldn't just pick one. But I do have this guy right here. He is definitely one of my favorites. It's not real fancy, not real hard pick, but it's an American lock. Um, just a little round body guy. I love him. He, I don't know what it is about him. and Yeah, he's pretty dinged up and beat up, but I, that's kind of what drew me to him. <laughs> I like it, man. And it's a, a heavy-duty lock, man. That thing is almost... That's at least 3 8 shackle right there, so... Here's the key on it. It's a double wafer lock. Kind of a cool shaped key there. Don't see many of them with that crazy uh, bidding on wafers sometimes, usually. So, there's that. I'll show you guys it works good here. If all goes well too, we'll gut this guy real quick. And I know most of you know what the insides of this look like, but... Some people may not know, haven't ever seen a wafer gutted. So, you can see there, it works beautifully. It is a ball, double ball locking mechanism. You guys can see that. So, yeah, I just, there's just something about this little guy. I mean, he definitely has to have seen some, seen some stuff, man, in his time to be beat up like that. And it says on there, American Lock Company, Chicago, USA. Patent pending. Then it's got an H747 something zero up there. But yeah, just pretty plain. But I don't know. I just like this guy for some reason. It's one of my favorites for sure. So let's see if we can get this guy open. Then I'll do a quick gut, hopefully. So. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you just got to kind of keep going back and forth until you get all these wafers set. Usually it's not too bad. Check this side. Come on, baby. I made this little pick here too. It was a broken SS Dev hook, and I just heated it up and made another, made a, put a bend in it, and it works great for these double wafers. Come on, baby. Work with me here. Those wafers are really small. You gotta make sure you're just getting on one of them. Sure, stay in frame here. Come on, that was a little rotation on the core. Come back to this side now. Wanting to fight me this morning for some reason. Of course, like I always say, my luck, it's all about camera shy locks. I never. There we go. 
and we're open. So there you have it. American double wafer lock picked. So let's see if we can do a real quick gut on this guy. Oh, don't need that anymore. <laughs> okay, so it's got a little screw down there in the bottom, a little flathead screw. And that screw holds a pin in that holds that core in. That right there that you can see is the uh, bottom of the screw. But then there's a pin going in this way through that hole that holds a pin in. I'll show you guys here. I can get this little screw out. I hate flat-headed screws. There it is. So yeah, that's all it is in there, is that little guy right there. And then, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Maybe we'll try and see, but... There's a hole down in there. I said, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, because I can't look at the camera in this at the same time, but... There's a little bitty hole down in there. And now if I... Hold this. Let me make sure the pin's not already coming out. It is coming out just a little bit. So all we should have to do is just give it a little bit of love. And there it goes. Oh, maybe. Try it here. Sorry if that went out of view just now. Oh, it slid back in there just a little bit. I turned it over too quick. That should have her. Yeah, there we go. So there you have it. Now if you look in there, maybe you can see this little pin that's in there. Like I said, most of you guys probably already know this, but some people haven't ever seen one of these wafer locks disassembled. And then right there... You can see, yeah, that pin just fell out right there, and it goes through that little hole right there, and it rides in that groove right there. It's also a limiter pin, so you can't turn it too far. So, there's the pin. You can see that. Oops, <laughs> sorry. And that, okay. And this is your core. You can see all those wafers sticking out on both sides there they stick out a little bit on each side that's what prevents it from coming out or from turning inside the core inside there you can see there's there's two grooves one on the top one on the bottom that those wafers fit in and then when you put the key in there All those wafers go in line and then the core can turn so pretty cool little mechanism I got a couple of these babies and I like them just something different so let's see it work in there hopefully so there you go um, yeah there's my entry into butchers 156 giveaway and I hope you all enjoyed that and remember, as always, keep it legal and only pick locks that are yours and not in use. And don't forget to check in the description. I'll leave a link there for the Butcher's Block channel and go show him some love as well. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.